We're live. What's up? How is everybody doing? Just getting some stuff set up. I don't know who's going to join, but hey. What the heck, right? Let's do this. Let's see who shows up this early morning. Flacky Bunko, what's up? Spike Croc, what's up? It is absolutely a miserable day this morning. It started raining. Trippy Craig, what's up? But I got a little bit of a break in the weather. Um, we're photographing some figs today. I actually, uh, let me uh, try to, ooh, hello. I'm seeing, so I got, I'm trying my other uh, tripod out. But, Got the dio out and uh, I got some raspberry pop tart. True that, it is so much better than snow. So much better. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping you probably can hear the rain coming off the roof. Uh, I'm back at the depot, which has a very good overhang. So unless it's a tra traditional downpour, I'm pretty well protected. Church bells are going off. You had a weird dream. <laughs> I hate when you have weird dreams. I was up to almost one in the morning Skype talking with Kemp after uh, Jetta's live stream. We talked for a little bit. Then Jetta went to bed and me and Kent, we wound up staying almost one. I've looked at the gun. Ooh, that was a cold water drop right down the neck. Uh, I've actually looked at those. The thing with, um, I don't ever, I don't ever usually buy things unless I get an ideal for it. Uh, I'm in Cleveland, Tennessee, Cleve Vegas as I refer it to. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I built this, uh, this Dio. Been working on it for a few weeks. Finally got it done. And um, it was really pretty yesterday and I, it's supposed to be halfway decent today. Temperature's good. It's just leaking. The sky's leaking. <laughs> the sky's leaking. The sky's leaking. Rob, what's up? So I've got a huge variety of figures that I brought with me. Well, I say huge variety. They're literally all the Black Panther wave. Of uh, the whole second wave some of the first wave that I had. I mean, it's just Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Panther, Thor, Ultron. <laughs> so, come on, son. I just wanted to spend the day with some vitamin D. But hey, I'm here with you guys. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, anytime I get out and photograph figures, it's fun. So, I do need to make a slight adjustment to my uh, cloth. My cloth A. Cloth A. Because, I'm not going to lie, this concrete, it's a little chilly. So now I can lean on the concrete. Towels are a must when you go, towels, blankets, they're a must when you uh, shoot outdoors. They're just a must. So who do I want to try first? I got my, my wire pliers. I get it all with me. 
think I want to do Takakata. Nate, what's up? Let's see here. We'll get him sort of halfway posed up. And while we're chatting away. Like I said, hopefully the uh, hopefully the weather will cooperate with us. I'm really hoping it does. I don't like that. Rakeem. Yo, I know how it's spelled. I just like saying it completely wrong. Taka taka. <laughs> it's a toy, man. We can't be so serious about our toys. We gotta have fun with them. We have people, I kid you not, we have people that really get their knickers in a twist if you can't say a character's name properly. Come on, people, it's a toy. It's a toy. Give me a break. Uh, so, uh, a lot of times, I love doing a lot of natural light. Um, I've got studio lighting and stuff, and I do that on occasion. Uh, the Lion King Pops, I did those in the studio. Harold Green, what's up? Um, so I like bringing some portable light with me. These are uh, uh, I, I'm getting ready to mess it. I'm just gonna call them yawns. <laughs> uh, VN 300 uh, LED video lights. They run on batteries. Uh, they're about 30 bucks and they work great because you put a battery in them and voila, you got light. Ah. So, I like having these with me. They come with this cute little bag. And like I said, they, uh, they travel well. Super Bowl, no, no, nay, nay, not done the Super Bowl. Everybody knows who's gonna win. I hope they don't, but everybody knows who's gonna win. I'm not, I'm not a pro sports guy. I literally could care less about pro sports. I think just a whole bunch of overpaid kids that don't know how to manage their money. Just saying. <laughs> don't be hating. Don't be hating. Oh, let's see here. Take a little test shot. See what we can come up with here. See how close my settings are. Oh, they're way off. They're way off. Way off. But, second shot of the day, and voila, there's Takakacha. Got to have fun with it, people. Got to have fun. Mary Triple Seven, how you doing? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Already I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I mean, so, I thank you. I... This is my passion. Photography is my passion. And for me to be able to do YouTube, toys, and photography, that's a win. Battery bulging. Uh, what's it bulging in, a Mac? Typically when a battery bulges, it is a faulty battery. Throw it away before it explodes. That's the IT guy talking to you. So let me, uh, all right, so this photo right here, right in camera, boom. So let me sort of uh, give you a, a look-see. So there we go. So I got my D light, lining, lighting up. Taka taka. <laughs> uh, phone battery, ooh, yeah, definitely not a good thing. 
If your battery's bulging in your phone, you've got a faulty circuit, faulty battery, there is something definitely faulty. You need to get rid of it or you need to take it into the shop. There's th certain things I'm all about shortcuts on. Batteries, uh, did I see the movie Nightcrawler? Yes, I have. See the smile on my face? I like that movie. It was interesting. What is your breakfast? All right. I have a raspberry pop tart. Yeah. Raspberry pop tarts are the shiznit. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Some good detail. Yes. Chicken strips. Hey, chicken strips? Ain't nothing wrong with chicken strips. Nothing wrong with them at all. Remember, if you're using battery powered LED lights, and you're taking a break, turn it off. Or your battery will go dead. Pancakes. This is such a cool figure. I love the color. I just wish this was a cloth. I really do. But I do like it. It's a very cool figure. I just like soft goods. Oh yeah. Speaking of claw. Oh, right there. Let's see here. There is one particular shot I want to do before. Just in case. Oh, there she is. So I've, I've, I've army built. I have my, uh, my warriors. Got my warriors. Ooh, pop pop tarts. Ooh, pop pop tarts. I dig that. I dig that. All right. So let's see here. Not quite sure how I want to set these up yet. So I'm just going to start with one and go from there. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Twix Pops. I've never seen Twix Pops. I don't think they've made Twix Pops, but that'd be an interesting pop, a Twix Pop, you know, because it's because the shape of a Twix, it's, it'd just be interesting. All right. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, yeah. Can't test it. Buffering like crazy. No. No. Just be patient. Hopefully, it'll, it'll go away. I hope. I hope it will. Don't leave me, people. Oh, sweet. I'm back. I like me. Oh, she fell down. Like I said, when it comes to the actual posing part of it, especially with multiple ones, trying to come up with the overall concept and ideal sometimes is challenging. If that makes sense.
trying to think about it and figure it out and how we want to do it. How we want to play this game called fake photography. The one thing bad about this grass that I used for pops, it's great. For action figures, it can be a little challenging because the uh, grass. Um, I'm actually been thinking about using my uh, Emperor Star Wars throne and modifying it for a Black Panther throne. I have thought about that. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That looks sort of good. I'll show you what I'm doing before I take the picture. I'll show you. I will show you, I promise. Like I said, I always try to pre-pose them on something away from the diorama first. Because a lot of times with the dioramas, uh, the movement will cause everything to fall. So you don't want that to happen. Or at least you want to try not to have that happen. So if you can mentally, it's almost like a chess piece. <laughs> that was good. Let's see here. Let me thread the spears. Get in there. Man, I'll tell you what, man, these these hands are they're tight. They're tight. So I like this one. Let's turn that that way. Um, the uh, giveaway. Was uh, won by Big Daddy. He actually lives close to me, so I was going to meet up with him yesterday. Um, I got tied up in the traffic. Wreck on the interstate. Didn't get a chance to, so I got to get this to him. So I keep it in my vaulted vinyl case in my car, so hopefully we can meet up and get his giveaway to him. All right, we're back. So, let's do this. Let me pull this off real quick. Let's do a flippy. There we go, guys. There's what we're looking at right there. I think that looks pretty uh, freaking awesome. Just me personally, but I'm a little, I'm a little biased. A little. Oh yeah, I, I keep it with me everywhere I go. Stays in the car with me. I actually had it uh, yesterday on my uh, hunt yesterday. All right, we got some light camera action. see Let's see what happens oh yeah voila right there and we fell down we fell down <laughs> uh trippy I, I mean that's a good idea i personally um i use it for uh storage when I'm traveling in the car. 
Um, I always I take them out of the bag and uh, put them in the case. And then that way I don't have to worry about uh, damage. And I do it with pops. You can put six in it. So if I've got six pops, they go in the case. They go in the case. That's, a, that's such a cool looking figure. It's cool looking. I'll try to keep up with the... So I'm doing some individuals now. Dig it, dig it. Very cool. Let's see here. Yeah, let's get him out. Let's get him out. Harold, man, I'm telling you, best camera you got is one in your hand, my friend. I live by that. Uh, this I got off of Amazon. You just, um, there's the name of it. Just uh, search Am Amazon. Parts of me, he needs something in his other hand. What can I give him? Oh, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna cross weaponize. Cross weaponize. Taking a killmonger weapon. Oh. Uh, that's, that's my baby right there. As, as you can tell, she's murdered out. You can't see anything in this car. So I'm taking one of Killmonger's weapons, that one. And I'm giving it to Baku. Because I think you need something in his other hand right there, you know? Just saying. He needs something. Oh, yeah, that made it so much better. Now we gotta find a spot where he'll stay, throw some light on him. Get the camera. Oh yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, then. Oh. But should we add her with him? Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe these guys behind him would be cool. I talk to myself a lot when I'm doing photography. I really do. It can sort of be disturbing. We'll try something a little different. Oh yeah, that'll work. Yes, that'll work. But this might be more of a, a Black Panther pose, yes. All right, she goes right there. 
let's see. She's going to be on that side. She's going to be on this side. Tuck this arm right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cooking with Crisco now, peoples. We're cooking with Crisco. I need a Black Panther. Turn this light off real quick. Um, actually, I'm going to use... I'm going to use him for this one as well. Because I dig it. Because I dig him. He's actually so cool looking. See if I can get him to stand. Oh, here comes the train. Hear that train a coming, coming round the bend. I don't like that. That'll work. Maybe. AJ collects. What's up? We're just out here uh, photographing some figs and. Get ready. Passengers drinking coffee. Nope. This is the most, this is the fun part about this, but also the most, it can be the most frustrating. It's getting that perfect, Pose that you have in your in your brain, and it can be it really can be frustrating. All right, she looks pretty good. If I can get her to stand, please stay there. Stay there. Don't move. Here comes the train. Oh, she fell over. Just as I was getting ready to place this one, the other one fell over. I'm gonna surprise you guys with this one. And that, like, like I said before, that's, what, that's why I like to pose it off the top. too hard. Come on. Stay. Oh, man, her head's down too far. Ugh. It's a weird how they, it's like a crazy balancing act. I agree, the weather on the on the East Coast, man. But, again, I'll take uh, rain over snow. Especially in my, in, in, in my area here in Tennessee. The things that we do for a photo is so funny to me. Or the things that I do. I'm not ignoring you. 
Oh, 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 so close. So close, it's like literally right there. And that's what makes it hard with this grass is the fact that it's, it's, un, it's just uneven. Okay, lights, camera. Try to be I'm, now I'm being greedy. I'm, I'm repositioning them, and they all fell. <laughs> and they all fell down. So now it's a do over. But the idea that I have in my head is good, it's just trying to get it to work. That's the problem. The uh, the bigger figures stand up really easy. It's these these women warriors. And I think it's because their footprint is just smaller. It makes it a little bit more difficult. So there's what I was going for right there. Wow, that was like what, 27 minutes of, wow, that was brutal. Brutal. I'm not even, I'm, not even, I'm done with these, these, these women warriors for now. That's cool though. Oh yeah. I dig it. I dig it. It's all about digging it. That's what it's all about. Let me get some uh, Let's see here. What do I want to do next? Um, let's look at the Black Panthers here. Um, hmm, I really dig this one. Neck up. Uh, actually, yes. I saw it for the first, I think, I think that's the one, I could be wrong, but I think that's the one that I saw in um, Battleground. I saw a neck up Pan's Lander. Pan's Lander. And that could have been it. I really, I really dig this Black Panther. He is so cool. So let's see if we can get a, a shot of him. Black Panther. His abs are a little, little wiggly. That's okay. That's okay. Lights. And we fall over. <laughs> and we fall over. And we're back up. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Come on. Right there. Oh, I don't like the pose. I don't like the pose. I, like, I think I like that pose a little better. Yeah.
Oh yeah, I like that one better. I like that one a little better. Oh, let me, uh, how do I want to do this? Was it this one? Or was it the other one? Which, which Black Panther do I want to use here? I was messing with one of these last night, and uh, it might have been this one. He had more of a Spider-Man feel to him. He actually uh, was really, really nimble. I think it was this one. Oh, yeah. All right, so I didn't want to use that one, so let me reorganize a little bit. I was going to show y'all a little, another little uh, interesting tip that goes along with my uh, action figure uh, stands video, but this one is in, in regards to your dioramas. Bag them up, bagging them up, bagging them up. Bagging them up, people. Gotta protect the figures. Gotta protect the figures. Her. turned off because I got to play. All right. That's why, I always, that's why I always bring stuff with me. All right. So, What I'm gonna do is create a little action scene with Black Panther. I might use his leg opening for this one. I don't know yet. Let's try and see. No, I don't like that. I'm just, I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm just talking. Okay. Let's see how, how do I want to do this? Or was it this one? It might have been this one. It might have been this Black Panther. There's so, there's, uh, it's weird. There's three different Black Panthers and they all three have differences. Body molds, which I found that rather unusual. Uh, it's like, especially in the ab crunches, I was actually quite surprised about that. So, 
You have to bear with me here because I forgot which one I was messing with last night. I did, I did, I did. Hey, at least it quit raining. All right, brother. Have a good day. Have fun, no matter what you're doing today. Just have fun. Oh, yeah. Flatten that out a little bit. Flatten it out, peoples. Flattening it out. Okay, let's see here. Check this one. Everybody's like, hurry up, Greg. Hurry up. I'm trying to hurry as fast as I can. All right, I think it was this one. Um, yeah. Let's check here. Let's check. Let's check. Let's see if that's going to work. Then basically, I'm just eyeballing it to uh, down here before I actually do what I'm getting ready to do. So I'm gonna bend that around by his leg. See if that foot will pivot a little bit. Bend that down. Let's see here. Maybe. We may be getting closer. Maybe. I promise you this will make sense. It will make sense. It will. I promise. I'm not digging that like panther. Though. See, that's the beauty of the wire is as you're progressing and just straighten it back out, start over. I just don't like the way that one's moving. I like this black panther better. So let me get that wire in him. Let's see if I can make him work better. I like the color of this one better. I actually think this one, yeah. This might work, this might work. Take a test shot. Yes, little high, little high. So if it's, if it's a little high, come right here, cut a little bit off your wire. And put it back in the Again, I'll show you this here in just a sec. I just want to get it as close, as perfect as I can. I'm sort of a halfway perfectionist when it comes to a lot of things. So it sort of bites me every once in a while. Special core, ooh, that's Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. 
So let's bend that, bend that. Let's see if we can make that work. all about trial and error so it makes it fun what makes all this fun okay 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 let's see here let's see Okay, okay, okay. We might be getting somewhere. We might be getting somewhere. Take a test shot. Oh yeah. All right. Now then, I'm gonna use this Killmonger right here. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty decent pose right there. Maybe. Come on, foot. Come on, ankle. Work with me. <laughs> Test shot. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so. So all of this we've been going through has been for this. Hurt was for that shot right there. <laughs> oh my God. Sun dropping drinking it. Yeah, so all of that one more time, we go from this to this. So how long have I been working on that? Uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> I need a, a DR ink for that. Purpose behind this is to take your, uh, your, if you build a diorama, you can have fun with it. And like I said, I, I built this little platform here, this little, you know, and it's pretty cool because you can you can post figures on it. Let me see if I can. I'll show you what it looks like with with it. Now I did this one not necessarily for a six inch but for uh, Pops. Hey, Robert. 
but there you go. But the beauty of it is you, uh, even though it's not perfectly purposely built for uh, six inch figures, here's the thing. When you do a, uh, a tight crop on it, now he's standing on the wood platform. So, there you go. Michael Walton just subscribed to my channel. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> and again, having these little portable battery operated LED panels, they're awesome. And, if you've got a DSLR, <laughs> Rebel, anything, you have a light panel. So, I mean, it, it works either way. So you can sit here and so if you actually want it on top of your camera, you just put it on top of your camera. Uh, if you go vertical, just tilt it in a little bit. Tilt it in a little bit like that. And what it's gonna do is, let me show you real quick. All right, so let me spin this around. I'll drop this down a little bit. Drop this down a little bit. All right, so the figure is, is facing towards you, right? And if I take the light panel a couple of different ways, because these panels come with these little feet, you can put it on its base, sit it right here in light, so it's throwing it right there to his face. But if I want to keep it on my camera, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so the camera's facing straight to the figure, but the light panel's going straight this way. So you come right here, angle the panel in like so, and now the light's coming right here, right to his face. So you basically have a perfect light source, which, voila. So these panels are great. They're awesome. They're awesome. Awesome. LG projector. Hey, nothing wrong with projectors. Nothing wrong with them. But yeah, I mean, get out. I mean, like I said, this is this is awesome stuff. Now, I do want to do. I actually showed this to uh, Ryan and Kent last night so i picked up this two pack from walmart yesterday for 13 bucks <laughs> gotta do it right and i wanted to do something with thor with thor so my wire straighten it back out because Voila. Now the beauty is a slot that the wire will actually sit in. So, but this wire is too short. So I might need to go to this one. To this one. Let me see here for what I want to do. Before I make any bends or anything, I just wanna I just wanna check it. That might work. That yeah, might work. So I'll make my little my little bend. On the Thor, I'm not gonna squeeze it all the way in though. I'm actually gonna leave it like that. Because he has a bigger gap in between the cape. Alright, so that piece of work for him. So let me get him all posed up, sort of what I was see if I can remember it from last night
I meant to leave him posed up and I forgot about it. I straightened him out. Cause like I said, me and Kent was on the phone till like, we literally talked till almost one o'clock this morning. And I was just putting stuff up as uh, we were talking. Let me see if I can remember exactly how I had him posed. I think it was something similar to this. Let me go ahead and stick this in the mat. Put his foot right there. Something ain't right. Oh, there we go. Nope, that ain't it either. Maybe I had his foot back further. Hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. If you don't have this figure, this is actually a really cool figure. I dig this figure a lot. But I sort of wanted to... Uh... Something to where, you know, Ultron was getting ready to get bashed in the head. Type thing. I think that'll work. Ooh. Funko. I got Thor too high. Yep, got Thor too high. Goes back to what I was saying earlier. It's too high. Take a piece off. Yeah, that might work a little better. work a little better maybe let's see you figure out angles Voila. Oh, the big Ninja Turtles. But something like that. But I still think he's a tad, just a tad too high. So let me take a little bit more off of him. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I like that a lot better. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Like I said, this is all the beauty of this type of stuff is you just do whatever makes you happy and feel good and warm and fuzzy and just have fun doing it, right? That's all you gotta do, have fun doing it. I'm digging that, I'm digging it. Digging it. Digging it. 
Well, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this stream up. We've been going for over an hour. I mean, not unless you want to stay to stay along. I'm good. I just want you guys getting bored. Don't want you getting bored. I don't mind. Hey, what's up? How you doing? But Thor. I'll be digging Thor. Thor's. This is a really pretty cool Thor figure. So I had to, I had to get some pictures of, uh, of him. Right? You got to take pictures of Thor. Got to. There you go. Right in camera. The God of Thunder. I know, you know, the crazy thing about it is I like doing action shots. Um, but sometimes I like doing the static shots, almost like portraits. I know it sounds weird. Um, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm the weird one. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't, it's just, sometimes I just really enjoy just doing uh, just a standard pose and Just crazy. I think the way I, I look at it is if I can take a six inch action figure and I can pose him like a person would pose. Then take a photo of it. I remember um, when I first started posting stuff on Facebook and Instagram, I took some pictures of some six inch stormtroopers and I had a person reach out to me and go, hey, who are these people with these stormtrooper costumes? I'd like, to, I'd like to be a part of it. They literally thought it was real uh, stormtroopers. Hey, Jenna's live right now doing a uh, Walmart hunt. So if you guys need to bail to go watch Jetta, I completely understand. He's doing a Walmart hunt right now. Um, but no, that's just, that's just sort of the way I look at it. If I can do, if I can take a six inch figure and do a portrait and make it look real, then I feel like I've sort of accomplished my my goal. So let's put Thor back up. Get him bagged up. Get him bagged and tagged. I got Killmonger out. Killmonger has he has some stuff. This is by far my favorite favorite figure of I don't know this wave. It's just a cool looking it's a cool looking figure. Mask was wickedly cool. So how do I want to pose him? Let's, um, you know what? I'm gonna do something completely different with him. Let's check some, let's check this out. So I'm taking the weapons from the other Killmonger figure and giving him those. So I'm gonna see if I can get him sort of posed up in a way, instead of using the guns, use the, uh, oh, I didn't notice this, his watch. Look at this. His watch is actually loose, is that not cool? That is wickedly cool. That wrist peg is tight. Let's see what we can come up with here. I 
again just a static uh, a static pose nothing no crazy action just a good static pose Oh yeah, oh yeah, I definitely dig that, definitely digging that, let's see if I can, oh his elbow won't do it, but, let's throw this mask on. Oh yeah. Come on. Stand up, Killy. The Killmonger. And he fell down. <laughs> Just as I was getting ready to pull the trigger, he fell down. Get his mask back on. I like this mask. That's a cool little feature for this particular figure. I think that's sort of what made him so much cooler is that he had that mask that you could take on and off. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Is that not cool looking? wickedly cool and again this is what I was talking about if you take a figure and put it in a static pose and can almost do like a headshot it really shows the details and everything and to me I enjoy these more than I do the you know wow but I am planning on doing some black powder today. I am planning on doing that. I gotta do black powder with Killmonger and Black Panther. So this afternoon, what's up Sizzle? We're, uh, we're photographing, we're photographing uh, figures. But again, I think honestly, if you take the weapons from the other Killmonger Black Panther, uh, instead of using these, I think these sort of go a little better with him. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. They just, I don't know. They, they look good. They look good. But can you imagine Killmonger with a <laughs> behind him? Yes. That will be cool. That'll be very cool. Where is, oh, there he is. I'll put him in the wrong bag. I got one, I gotta get Claw. Get him food to graft. Let's see here, put these back. And again, bags. I always bag my figures. When I'm done with them, I put everything back in the bags. That way you don't lose nothing when you're out on locations. Um, it's just, it's a good, it's a good habit to get into. It's a very good habit to get into. And I always try to straighten them all back out as much as possible, you know. Great. But again, that's just that's just me, guys. That's just me. I'm I do things a little differently. Uh by music. Ooh. 
Well, you know, um, I do not own any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've seen some I like. It's just not, uh, so I've got a, a list that uh, I keep and it's sort of like a, a wish list, but I always put it in a priority and I do a, not a numbering system, but I put all the toys or whatever it is that I'm wanting to get um, in, in a list. And then what I'll do is I'll take a, a highlighter or something and um, I'll just start organizing it that way. But like I said, everything that I get is based off of what I'm doing right now. Everything. Oh man, this Ultron is wickedly cool looking. He is wicked cool. Check this out. Check that out. Is that not wicked cool? That is so cool looking. Oh, heck yeah. I'm digging it, guys. I'm digging it. Need to move this head a little bit. And again, your dioramas, you just, like I said, this one's got grass, it's got a stone wall. Um, oh, oh yeah. I definitely went to the Okoy and the Okoy, I live at the Okoy. Literally, I'm on my motorcycle all the time and I'm, yeah, I'm there. It's my home away from home. That's the thing too I love about uh, action figures, especially uh, when I'm riding my motorcycle. Uh, Cause I've got an adventure bike and I got panniers on it. I take some figures, portable light, camera, boom. Wow, that's awesome. We need to meet up. So I've got Kane, or Kane Claw, that I want to photograph. I've got a, another one. Claw is an interesting figure. I like Claw. He's interesting because I dig that arm right there. Minecraft fanboy, what's up? How you doing? We're uh, photographing figures. Um, this one, because I want to see that arm. Oh man, his tattoo looks cool. How do I want to pose him though? I might give him, I might put the pistol in his hand. Oh, I didn't notice this, he's got his pinky ring on the action figure, that's cool. I might have to put some gunpowder behind him today too. Yeah, I think I will. I think that's a must. All right, let's see if I can figure out how I'm gonna pose him up. Oh, 
Oh man, he's got a crooked angle. We're almost. He's gonna be a fun one to get to stand up. I can already tell it. All right. <laughs> I caught him on the down on the down slide. I've been falling. Come on. Come on. You know you want to stand there. Don't be so frustrating. You know you want to stand there. I'm telling you guys, you got to talk to your figures. Sometimes you gotta talk to them to get them to play nice. Especially when you make dioramas and like I said before, use grass because it can be interesting. Let's see if I can get a good head shot of him. Well, uh, hey, Cla hey, Claw, you can fall over now. You can fall over now, dude. You know what? I'm curious about something. So, I'm still here. Really? I'm still here. I'm uh, checking this concrete. So he's got a, what makes him weird? He's got this weird bent ankle right there. that's making it, oh, there it went, there it went. So I'm on the concrete right here, on the where the, the building is. So I'm adapting him to maybe do something a little different. Adapt and overcome. I've got quarter scales, but I don't have the turtles. All right, so, hang on. I'm uh, adapting. Adapting and overcoming. So basically what I done was, let me do this. So I had him on the, Let me find him again. So I had him on the grass, which looks good. But then I took him literally a 12 inches from my from me and shot that one. So when you're out shooting your figures, be you don't be conscientious of everything around you. I mean, you can top, bottom. Ooh, I like this. Good example. Good example. I'm getting ready to show you something. All right. So let me rotate this. Let me rotate this down. All right. So the diorama, right? All right. So let's take. Take this next figure, which she's cool. All right, 
Got her shield. She's got her sword. So let's uh, see if we can get her with some kind of a, a cool, a cool pose maybe. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but. And then what I was talking about before is I always put her on, put them on a, uh, a solid surface just to sort of see how it works. All right. So let me move her up a little bit. All right, so we got the grass, we got the wall, everything looks cool, right? At my feet was this. Put that there. Now, let me do this first, because I'm gonna show you this first. So before, we'll do it before. Let me uh, get her framed up. All right, there's before. Like this, put it right there. All right. So, before, after, before, after, voila. So the, the point the, the point of that was you can do anything now. Here's even good like here's a gooder example. A really gooder of an example. So Jumping off the rock, right there. So something as simple as a piece of wire and a rock. The rock will hold the, uh, the wire up. You still gotta balance it. You still gotta goof off with it a little bit. Try to get it as perfect as you want it. Then you just basically uh, have a pose. You have a pretty freaking cool pose, to be honest with you. That's actually is pretty cool. Bam! Easy breezy. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I just got a couple more shots. I actually wanna do some of her and then we'll be wrapping this thing up. But I wanna get her posed up and do her, her uh, headshot. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave the rock in. I'm gonna leave the rock in for her, I think. Oh man, she is goofy standing. What the world? That's a goofy stance. That didn't even look cool. I wonder something. I wonder. You know what? Oh, wait a minute here. We might have uh, discovered something here. Oh yeah, <laughs> change of plans, ladies and gentlemen, change of plans. I changed her up. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah. Look here. 
this rock just became like a throne or not a throne but a that is so cool I do get excited when uh, things like this happen It's so cool. So far, I think this is my favorite of the, the day so far. I'm really starting to think this is my favorite of the day. Check that out. Right there. That rock's going. That is so cool. Let's see here. Turn this rock a little bit. Yes. I'm telling you, it's all about. Um, It's just literally all about uh, being creative, right? That's what it's all about, just being creative. Let's see here, because parts of me is thinking like that. And then the sword right there. Voila. Boom. I think it's been a pretty successful day. I found a good rock that I'm gonna take home with me. Got some pretty good photos. Got to hang out with you guys. Um, hang on a minute. I just had a notification pop up. Um, but anyway, guys, I think, uh, I think we'll start packing everything up and heading back to the old uh, house. I need to do some cooking today. So uh, then I got to, uh, it looks like the it's clearing up some. I'm gonna try to do some black powder photography today. So guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me for as long as you have. We've been going for an hour and a half, wow. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. That's what this is all about. Hope you enjoyed it. Just you guys seeing what I'm doing on a Sunday morning. So until the next one, guys, I'm Greg. We're on location. <laughs> and I will.